Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Dual Path series. In a preview of previous video, we learned about the Mastercam each and every single tool path in a step by step. And now we are at the end of this tutorial or playlist series. In this video, we will learn about the Mastercam 4x's most difficult and most different tool path which is known as Rotary Advance. Uh, in a Rotary Advance tool path, that is generally created for the rotary roughing purpose as well as sometimes we are also using this for finishing purpose. For creating that tool path, we are defining one stock model, one machining geometry and some important parameter with the some concept. So in this video, you will learn each and every single parameter of the rotary advance, how this tool path is created, what kind of component we can create with the help of this tool path. And as you can see here, write it here on the screen that part is created with the help of rotary advance with the step by step so it's uh, now created the most of the portion the remaining portion is the complete part is created with the help of rotary advance in a step by step and that is different tool path as compared to any other tool path in a multi axis so as you can see now I just increase my speed to make the simulation a little fast so we can came to the tool path and we can start to learn how it's work. So now as you can see here this is on the approximately last stage. And now it's almost done. So as you can see here this is my tool this is my workpiece and that is the component which we are created with the help of rotary advance on a rotary 4-axis machine. So now we have to step by step learn all these parameters and what is the process for creating that beautiful tool path. So now we are in the Mastercam 2023, the latest one version of Mastercam and now let we have to understand how we create the rotary advance tool path. So for creating a rotary advance tool path, so first I would like to came and delete all the operations and everything. So I just have to click on delete all operations and just click on OK. So as you can see here, this is my part. This is properly visible right at here. And in a level, I create a stock model for this one part. That is the stock model of my part. So when I turn on the stock model, I just turn off the part. First step is that we have to create a stock model. So for creating a stock model, I have to came in a stock model. Click on a model. Just click on a OK and just say ok and stock model and define a different color and just say ok so now as you can see this tool path is created right at here now I just turn on my part and off my stock model or the different model which I was created for the stock model purpose now at right at here I have to create the tool path for this one so for creating a tool path the one of the important line is the middle line which is created right at the inside at here if you don't have this line so how you can create you have to go in a wireframe click on a line just click on this circle so it can be started from the center point and click on that one portion so that is going to be created in a proper way if you want to make the change the color so you can make the change the color if you want to make change the thickness of this line you can change from right at here this line is important for us so creating a rotary advanced tool path now let we have to came to the tool path portion and have to create a tool path for creating a tool path we have to came in a mill and tool path and in the next step we have to came in rotary advance where is the rotary advance this is rotary advance we have to click right at here once we click on a rotary advance the first step is we have to select a tool for a selecting tool, we have to click on a select tool library and we are choosing a 6mm of end mill because the distance between both of the profile is 6mm or less. 7mm between 7 or 6mm, so we are choosing the 6mm. After the next step, we have to define the stock model. We have to came in stock and select a stock model and this is my stock model. So tool path have to be created with the reference of this stock model. In a, you can also define stock with the help of a job setup or you can define user selected geometry as well so but this is the 
uh, easiest and simple method to define the stock model if you want to make some stock adjustment or shrinkage as per the last video you can you have some idea about this in the next step you have to keep in a cut parameter in a cut parameter what is the method what you have to do you want to do roughing or finishing so i just choose the roughing in a roughing there is one single step in a type in a roughing type there are two methods first is offset and second is offset and spiral in the remaining steps we have to we can do the cutting methods the direction of engage machining by depth and reason and write it here in the next step that is the step over what is the step over how much step over we can define in this year so i just choose a 4 mm of step over for just a normal cutting if you want to define the depth of cut you can define the depth of cut right with the click right on here in the next step we have to define the part geometry where is the part and which we want to make the machining so in a part definition we have to define the part geometry so for defining a part geometry we have to click right at here i just click on it top and select from this to this and just say okay so as you can see this is the my entire portion where we are to do the machining it is going to be selected right at here in a cut tolerance i reduce the value of cut tolerance so that time it will going to be okay the most of the times what the mistake we are doing that we are defining just till the parameter and just say okay if i just defining this that all these parameter and just say okay so that time tool path will going to be wrong that is 100% sure there are the two important parameter which we have to define that is the one is the direction and second one is the base what is the base point base point means what is the center point so i just choose uh, this it means my center point is calculated with the help of this one arc okay now the next step is direction what is the direction i just have to click on this and just click on this so this is the direction of tool path if you want to make some limitations with the help of action and radial you can use both of these parameter and you can define for now i just define the all the parameter and just say okay once i click on okay so it will take some time to create the tool path because it's a rotary advanced tool path and it's take a little time to calculating the against the stock model so now as you can see here my tool path is created right at here that is the multiple number of passes at each area that is with the help of depth of cut for example i want a single cut because i just want to show you you can define the depth of cut how much depth of cut you are defining according to that it will be created for example i just want to make a one single depth of cut so i just say 5 mm of depth of cut so it will create a single pass for this one entire course or we can say So as you can see here, this is the depth of cut, the value which we are defining right at here. According to that, that is going to be created a tool path. But there are some linking parameter which are not perfectly as per the model, because as you can see here, there is a some ah uh, these blue dark blue line or we can say bangy color line. These are the linking parameter. So we always have to make sure that linking parameter have to be make with the created with the help of the lifting. So for keep this. we have to create with the help of lifting so that one purpose we have to came on a linking parameter where is the linking parameter this is my linking parameter in a linking parameter this is the portion at here we are just say direct direct we have to click on here and just click on retract to feed plane click on this and retract to feed plane it means that tool path have to be linked before going to the next area so what is the benefit with this this tool path can created in a proper way with the easy and smooth tool path so now let we have to regenerating this tool path it will take some time and now it's going to be created so at right at here as you can see this the tool path is created in a proper way and it's going to be perfect where whenever i required a link so that time tool has to going to be lift proper in a proper way till the feed plane and it have to be came down how much it have to be lift that is we can controlling with the help of this so i hope guys you can guide you get understand about this that how we can create a four axis rotary advanced tool path for these kind of components and now i would like to show you in a 2d simulation so this is all about 
Dot T advance. So I hope you guys get understand and have some idea about that how we can create the rotary advanced toolpath. This is must most smooth and easy toolpath to create any rotary advanced component where the required to be roughing as well as the finishing. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question or doubt, let us know. And this is the basic idea to understanding about the rotary advanced tool. So thank you so much.